a watch is a microcosm of a perfect world. All those gears are meshing and wheels turning and they all work together in a symbiotic relationship to produce this one end result, which is the time of the day. And I think that's a miraculous thing. Henry Graves, he was a very discreet gentleman, and we knew really very little about him until 1999. I think that he was very competitive, which is why he unofficially entered into a contest with James Ward Packard. James Ward Packard was the other extremely important patron for Patek Philippe. Although the two men never met, when Henry Graves would hear about a watch that was made for Packard, he would say, well, I want a better one. In 1929, he heard that Packard had a watch that was very complicated and included the sky chart for Warren, Ohio, which is where Mr. Packard had his automobile factory. So Henry Graves heard that and he said, okay, I just want you to make me the most complicated watch that you could think of. What he wanted was the nighttime sky over Central Park. What accompanied that was also sunrise and sunset for New York. And it was geared to the exact latitude longitude of his apartment at 64th and 5th Avenue. It took eight years, five years of research, three years of building. There was a museum called the Time Museum in Rockford, Illinois. The Time Museum was very well respected. It had built up through the vision of Seth Atwood. In 1969, he purchased the super complication. In 1986, Kevin Tierney and myself were called out to the Time Museum to go through the collection. He had them bring out the super complication. When I held that watch, I felt its power sort of reverberate through my entire, you know, soul. I used to say it was like holding a living heart, and I think what I really meant was it's holding something that's organic, something that's, um, you know, alive. Then fast forward to 1999, and we received a phone call, and it was Patricia Atwood, who informed us that the Time Museum would be closing as of noon <laughs> that day. <laughs> that was a great shock. It was just never imagined that he would sell it. One of the most important pieces was the Henry Graves Jr. Super Complication. The Chicago Police Department off-duty picked us up in Rockford, Illinois. We hand-carried it back to New York and we were met at the other end. And the odyssey started. We valued it at three to five million dollars. As we got closer to the sale, the excitement started to build. And we arrived at the day of the sale. There were six bidders up to six million dollars. And then all of a sudden there were two bidders, two new bidders. And they just went at it. And the watch went for 11 million dollars. Super complication is more than a horological work of art. It's beyond a watch. It is a masterpiece.